Hi there, so today I'm gonna corpse this skull up. Um, it's like a cheap, like green skull, plastic. Um, it's got a label on the back which I need to get rid of, but I'm gonna corpse this up and paint it, hopefully uh, for Halloween. If not, it'll be after Halloween, most probably after. We'll see. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. So here's a quick rundown of the stuff that I've got to make this. I've got a heat gun, that's going to be to melt the, uh, the cling film, uh, the plastic wrap around the skull and it can melt it and it'll texture it up, make some nice sort of um, fleshy skin, you know, just like hanging off and stuff like that. I've got some white gesso which um, we'll probably need to undercoat the whole thing in that um, just to give it like a bit of a base coat. Yeah, I've got a palette, a bit of tissue, white and brushes, um, acrylic paints, I've got a few different colours, I've got a white and a black, the black will be for like, you know, the darker bits obviously, and uh, there's some browns if I use the, you know, them browns, and there's a red, and it's like a fleshy uh, type skin colour, I'm going to just use a few of them, uh, water tub with just water in it, uh, a bit of sandpaper I'm here, sand this before I do anything because um, there'll be some surfaces which won't have plastic on possibly um, but yeah I'm going to sand it and probably sand that label off as well um, it's got a board because um, when I'm heating this up it's a glass table so it could have smash um, paint brushes that's like white acrylic gesso I don't think I said that <laughs> yeah that's what I'm going to use as like a base coat for this and that's all we really needed for this um, yeah so let's let's begin so first things first I need to give this a bit of a sand I want to get that label off there um, maybe try and put a bit of water on there just to soften it up a bit and I can sand it off or whatever it might just come off usually do this in a well ventilated room um, especially when I begin to use the um, thing later um, but I'm okay with this just, there's not going to be much sanding really um, I'm going to get most of this off then I'll just do the whole thing It's going to get covered anyway, but I'd, I just want to get it all off really. At least most of it. And I'll just. Uh, Give it a light sanding, I don't really want to go too over bothered with it. Because a lot of this is going to get covered up anyway. Just give it a little bit of a sanding just to... So stuff can stick to it. to do this because I'm going to give the whole thing a coating with um, that gesso that'll serve as like the undercoat because there'll be some areas which won't be covered by the plastic so that's what we're aiming for
Now I want to take a um, paintbrush and a gesso because this has all been sanded. I've just wiped it down a little bit just to take all the sanded plastic off. And I'm going to coat the whole thing now with this white acrylic gesso. Might need a few coats because I want it to be totally white. So yeah, just going to do that. I'll be moving to time lapse now. Right, so that's the first coat. I'm not really bothered about any streaks at the moment. Just make sure I haven't missed certain areas. Any like paint streaks at the moment because it's going to get co covered with um, wrapped plastic, melted wrapped plastic for the flesh and things like that. But I just wanted like a, a little sort of base coat because some of these areas won't be covered with plastic, namely the eyes and the teeth. Um, so it's best just to do that. I'll just let this dry and then I'll do another coat and then it should be ready to wrap some plastic. So that first coat's nearly dry so I'm going to give it another coat. Um, really like how a lot of the paint uh, work is going to be on um, well all of the skull eventually but um, it's like the eyes, the nose and the teeth are going to be covered by plastic so but the rest will be but it's best I want to give it a sort of an even coat of this um, just in case there's any gaps showing through as well you never know I may just have some bald skull showing through so that'll be good uh, just to add that I want rid of a lot of the green colour that's showing through. So it does definitely need a few more coats of this. Do with a turntable or something, just stick it to a turntable and just turn it around. But yeah, well, get prepared. <laughs> I think I'll just give it this coat. This might just be enough, actually. But I've got a feeling maybe a third coat. Maybe I'll have to let this dry completely and then um, do a third coat of the white. So 
any bits I've missed. Let's try and do it as best I can. Right, that'll do. Right, so now that's dry, I won't really want to uh, start wrapping this in plastic. Um, so what we've got to do is uh, get a good amount of it first, because um, it's going to shrink. So, need to rip off a good bit there. We need to try and get a good amount um, sort of wrapped around it. Um, so it doesn't fall off really, so we want almost like a hood. Let's move that over there. So it's going to stay on really. That's what we want. So we get the heat gun. Um, Got to make sure there's some ventilation when using this heat gun because there's going to be fumes off this. I'm just opening my back door. do this several times so we've got like some nice this is going to be the skin and the flesh and stuff and we want areas that are going to be sort of covered maybe like a bit more on the eyes try and make the stringy bits you know so because it's going to be like flesh and other stuff Maybe get another sheet now. And then we can do the same process again. Usually repeat this process a few times. Now I want this to be more like a hood again, but to go around the edges, around the sides. So I want to try and keep it away from the face details because we're going to maybe a bit of the teeth I need to bend that so it just melts maybe have a, if it can get a strand over the teeth then it's going to really help I think so right. So I'm guessing maybe need maybe a couple more sheets I think just to try and get some more layers of the skin or like flesh that's just hanging off so I'll get another sheet. Again, just wrap it around almost like a hood. Something like that. So we can look at it 
I see some of them strandy areas, that's what we're looking for. We want some of them. You know, it's going to be like real cool skin flesh effects. I might think maybe one more sheet and I think that'll do for this. Um, and we can start thinking about uh, sealing this um, before painting. Usually this is best to do it in layers. Um, this plastic wrap. Final layer. Just always do it in like a hood. And then do it again. some bare bone um, of the skull which is important I like them areas but we've got some nice hard stringy bits which when painted will look really cool and effective and we've got some recessed areas underneath as well um, some bit over the eye and the teeth I quite like that some good good effect there yeah so yeah just give it a look over and that the bottom of the skull we're not really too bothered with at the moment but because um, it, it's going to stand on it there like that so right I'm going to try and um, I've got some sealant I'll just have to seal this a little bit before painting and then we'll get to that so I've mixed some uh, PVA glue with a lot a bit of this white acrylic gesso I haven't got some decent sealant so I think this will just have to do um, but this is dependent on whether I let it dry and I think I'll have to let it dry overnight or um, well it should dry pretty quick actually so I'm just going to give this an even coat over the top and you can see it when you're adding this coat over the top it's like you can see some cracks and sort of extra details when you're going to add proper paints over the top um, it's going to look even more effective so the reason why I painted the underneath um, a few coats was just to give something for this um, plastic to stick to a little bit um, and also like uh, so it was like more whiter underneath if, if I didn't like that green would have showed through a little bit so didn't really want that because the more sort of areas you do with um, this like the brighter white it gets really just try and dab all the other areas and there would have been like other areas of like, like green showing through when I put the plastic on so I wanted to try and get quite of them a lot of them areas go over the plastic as well because you can see some of them textures forming so you want to give it a really good coat of this I quite like that texture on the, the chin there, quite cool. I may like trim a hole there or something just to saw that bit of skin there, I don't know, we'll see, see how it goes along. Right, let's try and 
through these areas. See already with the plastic, there's a lot of um, texturing um, with the, you know, the plastic shrinking and that, so it produces a good effect. It's just this bit. At the back, we have to mix some more. Try and get I don't really bothered about the, the bottom of the skull because that's what's going to stand on anyway. As long as I can get all this sort of covered. for now it may need another coat which I'm thinking it will do so I have to mix some more so there's a slight detail on here um, that I maybe want to don't want to cut through there but I'm gonna do it anyway um, let's just have that Let me keep that strand going there, I'll have to glue that down. Maybe let's get the heat gun. lip I think because I want them teeth exposed really got some black acrylic paint mixed in with a bit of water just trying I want a, a grey a grey sort of texture um, just going for the darker areas um, this will just highlight a lot of the the cracks and the crevices um, you know on the on the skull Maybe I need it a bit more darker, but I can do this in layers. So I want to go over everything. Maybe use a larger brush for that. Just fill all the all the gaps and everything. Doesn't matter if it drips here and there, because it needs to go in places. This, like I said, it highlights a lot of the, you know, the shadow areas and things like that. Um, it gives it a nice sort of undercoat.
up all the areas. All the space. Even like the gaps. Everything. Let that dry. Maybe just use the last of the paint just to get the last bit on the top. Right, I'm going to take some black now and not thin it down too much. Um, it's going to be a lot darker. There's still some wet patches, but I'm not really bothered. I want this to be even more darker on the eyes now. Um, try and build this up in layers. So we want these eye sockets to be a lot darker and the nose there as well. Still a bit thin down but not too much. I'll probably give it more of a solid colour I just Then I need more shadow on the teeth. Maybe make them black looking and maybe then just get like a wet brush, put it on the top and then So it's in all the cracks, but I want you know the teeth to be standing out a bit. Yeah, I quite like that. Then we want to try and find any other cracks which haven't got enough shadow. We want a bit more in there. So that initial um, sort of colour was sort of a base coat really. Just trying to figure out some shadow here. Any cracks? Try and fill them. Still want to darken the eyes with a bit more black. Because they want to be the darkest thing, I think. It's like eye sockets on a skull, so I need to do them totally black.
and go over these bits. These need to be darker as well. The nose socket. some of the thinned out black just on the outside yeah they're dark enough them eyes I think right I've got a touch of raw sienna I want to try and um See what give it a light coating of this on certain areas. So I want this to be like a base colour for some blood. Just on some of these fleshy areas. Just here and there. colour for the I'm using this as like an orangey type colour um, then I can add red to it later on and some of these stringy bits So that forms the basis of the fleshy bits there. Now I've got some red, primary red, I can just give this a coat and um, it'll start blending in with, I don't have to wait until this dries, I can just start blending it in. And it'll add a nice fleshy looking colour. some of the stringy bits as well. Now the reason why I added a bit of that, um, oh it's like a brown, a light brown, gives it more, the blood of more like of a warm colour, um, just to go over the top. Because you can darken it as you, you know, as you go along as well. And these bits can be like some, something like muscle as well, last bits of muscle and flesh and things like that. to go overboard really, really with these bloody bits um, so I don't want it to be totally like a gory gory one this one
bits here and there, but not too much. So you see, oh, <laughs> dropped it there. see, it's given us some nice gory bits that we can work with. So I've got like an unbleached titanium, which is like a it's like a creamy colour, but it's also like a bone colour, so uh, I'm going to use that um, just for some highlights. Don't have to use it on every sort of area. I'm going to use it on them teeth, just to bring out the teeth a little bit. Just over the top. So all the shadows have been done, so... So we're just really sort of dry brushing over the top. Um, like some of the raised areas. Try and add just like a wash, or thin it down with water slightly, just get a wash done from here. So we're giving it some uh, rough colours really, some really being sort of out here with this. <laughs> dry brush a little bit. It's just nice to add colour here and there. Just like the skull just showing through a little bit I 
and the rest is all like skin probably yeah, there's a little bit of skull colour on the top but yeah bit of dry brushing let's give it some I want to make it look a bit messy as well you know Cause it's supposed to be like a rotten skull I think really what we need to do is use up the rest of this maybe to this paint just to like fill in a lot of this bald looking you know skull and then we'll need to maybe see this in actual daylight during the day and then we can work on it a lot more so I'll use up this and then let me just give it some layers of this like paint the proper skull colour So giving it like quite a few layers, different colours we can add more shade into it and just sort of have fun with it I think. I'm going to do a time lapse of this video as well so you, know, so you can see the process a lot quicker without me, without me trying to explain it all. It's something that I fail at really sometimes. You can see some of them land details. I want to, want to make more of them, maybe. So maybe do more colour washes in the daylight tomorrow. And then we can really see. Just I like this type of skull colour is um, quite a good colour. So that's what I wanted. Uh, quite a bit of that top of the skull. This type of colour. You can't properly see. You'll probably see more in daylight when I switch to that after this little bit. Just a little bit of paint. I get some of them cheap bones highlighted as well and there's a bit there as well a bit of the skull right so what we'll do is we'll see what this looks like in daylight and then we can see it a lot clearly rather than this nighttime daylight lamp that I've got there and then start to do some detailed paint work See you in a few seconds. So now it's uh, daylight. I'd like to try and um, do some more detailing. Um, now I've noticed it is daylight. There is some little areas in the corners where I've missed some darker areas. So what I want to do is get some black and black acrylic paint, thin it down with water a bit, and then. Um, just try and dab in them areas just to get a bit more darker we thin it out with water a little bit um, just them recessed areas really that was sort of irritating me a little bit so I'll do the same at the other side I 
I'll just let it drip through sometimes because <laughs> I want it to be like um, a messy looking thing but sometimes you can create some sort of quite good um, effects by accident sometimes and it might to be like totally black now and I'll try and just create a really thin sort of watery consistency like there just with a bit of water and I want to go back into some like cracks of the the teeth that I've probably missed just make it slightly darker and I can you know add like highlights over the top again try and flood it all and you can see leak out yeah oh, that leak I'd like yeah maybe leak out the eyes as well that'd be quite good like there's some kind of black evil oil coming out of the eyes fleshy bits here um, and we can make more out of them take some off the brush and then just thin it off slightly dry the brush even more so any other like recessed areas I can just go over and all the, all the black will just go in all the cracks that's what you want really you can go over some of this area because it just adds a darker sort of colour to it like shadows and stuff gives it a good layer that you've missed underneath don't worry about getting it everywhere we can smooth it all out later on go for any areas which you can see there's like um, you know some kind of lands and stuff so we want them to show up a little bit more and stuff because that's where the paint can't go really well can go you know but um, but then when I paint over the top that, that paint will still be there so it can't really go really because it'll be all seeped into the cracks and stuff see so I didn't thin black 
watery layer over that just reduces the red slightly and um, some good cool colory effects Just want the the crack areas, which are going to be more darker. So I've got some like light pink. I want to put a bit on the brush, but then just wipe a lot of the excess off. Yeah, I want to find the raised areas on. Can you see that the the blood areas? and get the raised areas and wipe most of that off all we want is the raised areas it's to be like a light pink so we can have like highlights to be really so it blends in from the grey as well you know and create some nice highlighted bits because um, we don't want the full thing totally like red we can just um, add some like highlighted areas areas Maybe on this side again just go for the raised areas that's what I want all the edges of uh, colour that you add there, I think the better it'll look. Um, you can go and add highlights and then go in and add more shade and other like darkening tones and things like that. some pink in there just, just 
to give it some highlight colour. Really, but it's about adding like uh, highlights just to tone that blood thing down a bit. I don't want it to be too bright, like you know, brightly red sort of thing. Um, you can run your finger over it a bit just to smooth it out a little bit. Certain areas. more to it you know like um, I'll be I'll be here forever if I was gonna spend more time on this um, but if I had more time um, I would uh, add more highlights um, maybe maybe like another like kind of grey wash um, and then maybe more of that type of bone colour um, over the top and then Spend more time on getting a lot of the, you know, the cracks and bringing out more of the highlights and things like that. Um, add some like ready bits on that pink that I've added there, and um, it looks better than it was anyway. Like a green, um, you know, nice little Halloween project. Um, yeah, you can spend more time on it than I have. Um, this is just a fun little Halloween project that I did, uh, just to break up my drawings that I'm doing. So, um, anyway, I hope you like that. Um, hopefully, do more sculpture work like this um, and get better at it. Um, definitely, it'll look like miles better if you spend more time on the paintwork. Um, because, you know, this looks slightly messy, but just have fun and just do different colours. Um, experiment um, a lot of people like uh, undercoat the, the skulls like in entirely in black and then they wake up like uh, all the highlights in greys and then um, you know like from the the darkest grey to the lightest grey and maybe some white highlights and it'll look like a statue skull or something you know like concrete there's all sorts of different things you can do um, anyway I hope you like that little project made a break from drawing <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.